everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, that is not enough for somebody that God has feared to be alive till today. Do we have an interpreter or our interpreter has gone for vacation? Somebody shout hallelujah. If you are alive, oh, well, I, yeah. if you know that you are still breathing, me. if you are handsome here, to, 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 go, re, get, lo, ju, to, she, wo, lo, ju. if you are beautiful, to, re, wa, lo, be, re. if truly really God is your God, to, je, kwa, lo, ru, lo, lo, ru, re, li, to, I, to. I want you to show appreciation mo, fe, ko, fe, mi, mo, re, by chanting a glorious hallelujah. Ba, ki, ki, hallelujah. To, lo, go, ni, no. Hallelujah. Let us have a seat before God. Today is a special day. Today is a special day. This is something that our secretary should have done. But because he's my wonderful son, a kind of my wonderful son. He did something different. If God truly has spared you alive, you are going to shout seven hallelujah. Seven seven Osana. Osana Major. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Heaven is a 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 Let us have a seat before God. As you can see that the theme for the word of today is a committed God. A committed God. A God that does not fail his word. Let the side men and side women sit down for a bit. Please for everyone that will read. Can we have a microphone? The reason is we have people online that love to hear us. Uh, keep it for yourself and you are going to read it. Stop giving your work to somebody else. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you would have to read today. If you don't read today, we are going to charge you a hundred dollars. Money, ah, I'm not bringing work to pay. Do do do. One, one, one. Can be barely lonely. It's in our back. Ah, one son, one son. I want to go alone. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That do 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 itself is a hundred dollar. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is something that God wants to do for us. I bet you have no idea. You see, what God is about to do is beyond me. It's beyond me. And it's beyond you. It's beyond the things that you have heard this prophets tell you. God wants to do something that is spectacular. Can you look at something God wants to help me? It seems that person is not talking to you. Look at another person. 
uh, 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 Kilo Jay, you guys did not even hear what I'm asking to do. Hey, Jay, do all of you, me. all don't of you, in. if you are not careful, we would put you in detention. Anything. We'll tell you to kneel down and raise up your hand. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Ah, because you have to listen. This is what we needed in the new year. Look at somebody when it was like Berry and said, God is committed to help. So, we oh, it seems that person is not talking to you, especially that person that is just oh, the drums is part of the things that is affecting somebody now. They are not talking. You have to look at somebody when and said 2024 is my year of blessing. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I bless God for my children. They are wonderful. Are you welcome, mommy? God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can somebody open to the book of Amos? Because I want to be quick. Because God actually has something that he wants to tell us today. That first Bible reading. I want everyone to open your Bible. But I want somebody to read it while we are looking at it. I only need for now the first, the 11th and the 12th verse. In that day, that yes. day, uh -huh. I will restore. I, in that day, yes, I will raise up the tabernacle of David. Which version are you reading? Uh, keep reading, keep reading, it's fine. <laughs> Which has fallen down? You will not get, you will not get away from this one. <laughs> we have, we have NIV versions in this church, like a million of it. Uh, read the one that is big. On that day. I will raise up the tabernacle of David, uh -huh. which has fallen down, yes. and repair its damages. I will repair its damages. I will raise up its ruins. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old. I will rebuild it as in the days of old. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. And all the Gentiles who are called by my name. And all the Gentiles that are called by my name, says the Lord who does this thing, says the Lord that will do all of these things. Sit down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Verse 11 and 12. Yes. God uh -huh. Yes. 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 Ahoro re soke. Yes. Emi o si ko. Yes. B T o joy bani. Yes. Ki a a won ki won le ni iyoku edo mo ni ni. Uh huh. Ati bo bo a won keferi. Uh huh. Ti angpe ni paru ko mi. Yes. Ni ni oluwa ti o she e yiwi. Amen. Amen. Can you look at somebody and say God is going to remodify my life? I want to tell you today, you better, it's good to listen. Because the word of today is going to do you good. And for as many that listen truly, may your life never remain the same for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. I mean, I told us last week so about King Ahaz and how because he was threatened by other kings he made an alliance with the king of Assyria and I told you that when you make an unruly alliance, it will result into a devastating gloom. So, by the time we get to the book that we read today, 
Assyria and Judah has already united. Assyria at Judah at Darapo. And so when King Ahaz died, Nipa ti oba asiku. Assyria took over. Assyria agba joba. And Assyria destroyed Israel. Assyria si ba Israel je. And took Israel into. Was it ko wonleru? And the house of David was in ruin. Oh, but he led David as he could not run, and the sinners were punished. I want to let you as if you are Jehovah. The rest were purified. I want to go at some one she, but the faithful were not forgotten. She born. I want to show all the dodo I could back be. Can you look at someone say God has not forgotten me? We need to let back be a lot of could back be me. That person is not answering. Any year you download one. Find another person and say God has not forgotten. Well, me not suffer for a lot of work back, baby. That person is not saying anything. Any year now download. Find a better person. Where any to world that download you and say God will not forget me. So for a lot of work back, baby. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in this exile, ni no igba ti mo wa ni ag eh ti mo wa ni ili ajeji ili ajeji. Epele. Amen. Amen. At least you still have someone that is trying more than all the men in this house. Amen. Amen. You see, it's funny. People will say it is women that first see Christ. I want. And they are forgotten that the angel that came to roll the stone were men. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just have to agree with me and say amen. 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 There's a covenant that God made with David. That covenant is in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 7. 2 Samuel 7. Samuel 7. Samuel Ikeji, Ori Ikeji. I want you to read from verse 12 to 16. Last year, Sir Ikeji, last year he carried the logo. Yes. Uh huh. You stand up and you don't carry. Somebody has read that. Second Samuel seven. When yes. your days are over. Yes. And you rest with your ancestors. Uh huh. I will raise up your your offsprings to succeed you. Yes. Your own flesh. Yes. And blood. This is God speaking to David. I will raise up your offsprings to succeed you. Uh huh. And I will establish his kingdom. And I will establish your kingdom, which is the kingdom of David. Uh -huh. he, he is the one who will build the house for my name. And this child that would come will be the one that built the house for God. Uh -huh. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. And God's plan was to establish David's throne forever. Let us just leave it that way. Yes. See what is so pelu awon baba re emi o si gbe iru omo re leke leyin re eyi ti o ti inu re jade wa emi o si fi idi ijoba re kale owo o si ko ile fun oruko mi emi o si fi idi ite ijoba re kale lai lai you see this is the promise of god for david ile ri olorun fun wa ni yi but once assyria sugbon igba ti assyria took them into slavery to ko won leru it's as if that will not come to be again. Because if you are a slave, and you call yourself a king, you know there is kingship in slavery. That means you are still a slave. It's a title called king. That will never be a case in the name of Jesus. The question that the Lord asked me when I read this is this. How many unholy alliances have you made in 2023? How many unholy alliances have you made with your friends? How many unholy alliances have you made in your relationship? How many unholy alliances have you made at your place of work? How many unholy alliances have you made in the church? This is the question that you should think within you. Because when you made unholy alliances, that means one way or the other you have compromised. Alright, let's go to 
Amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today, Robert Amos is telling us something. I want you to open to the book of Amos. And just look at it. I'm not saying you should read. Amos is saying to us today that God is committed to his people. God is committed to his people. What is God's commitment for his people? The commitment of restoration. The commitment to rebuild. There are some places that are falling down. There are some things from the erected world that God has built around you that is no more standing. God says it will rebuild you. I'm not hearing your amen. This is the promise of God for you. But then if you look at all the verses, the first one that you find out is this. Can you look at somebody? When you collect bear, I said, listen carefully. These are the promises of God. For I you. Want look at another person. Well, Lomira. Say, by the time I see you, so when you, see you, you begin to see this happen. Well, Lomira. Say by the time it's next year, I am at the blessings of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want you to listen very carefully. The first promise that God asked for you is in that verse 11 and 12 that you read. God said God that he is going to rebuild that tabernacle that has fallen apart. When you look at the tabernacle there, and even the true tabernacle, it is the relationship between you and God. That tabernacle that God tell Amos to begin to speak to Israel about is that temple that is built so that God can have relationship with Israel. Despite, despite the failures of Ayas, Despite the failures of Israel, despite many shortcomings, God promised to rebuild that. God promised to restore the relationship. This is the number one ultimate. Agreement. The question is this. Are you ready to build your relationship with God? You will not know those areas that we have missed it. You can recall within you places, places that you know you are not supposed to go in 2023. But because you think and you believe that eh, God is in control, you just went. Do you remember some things that you know this is not good for you? And you are like one of my friends that will say, God, this place that I'm going to, you are not invited. Just oh, stay. Oh, Let me quickly go and come back and then we'll continue. Oh, so May God be with us in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to build your relationship with God? Where's the temple of God? It's in us. Oh, one, you know so is God residing in that temple? Oh, or is it idolatry? Or is it fight? Is it gossip? Is it backbiting? Which of it do you have? That has strained this relationship. God is telling you today, I want to restore my relationship with you. The question is, are you ready? Do you even want to restore your relationship with God? You know there are two people that come to Celestial Church of Christ. There are two people that come to church. The same God and the true worshippers. 
Those are when they wear their white garments. I want to to wash your white fufu going. See one lobby. You say this is sele going. Your action does not speak celestial. Your waist does not speak celestial. celestial. If they take away that white garment, they are as celestial as anybody in the world. And they are true celestials. And they are true celestials. If you are a true celestial, shout hallelujah. But I beg you to start building your relationship with God. Because there is more that God wants to do for you. I once told a story to someone here. Maybe to this church. I said we are like someone that, let's say I'm holding a bottle of honey. And then I say, ah, come, let me give you honey. And then I take the cover, pour on it and give it to you. So if you want to you can give it to you. To wa ni wa mo fe fun oni oyin bi igba ti mo mu ogo oyin dani ti mo ni wa wa ba oyin ba oyin mo bu sinu ideri mo wa fi le olowo and then the person takes it eniyan wa gba it's a cover ideri ni mo bu si o tested it o to o and left and begin to run around i have, I have all the honey in the world o bere si sare kiri pe amo ti ni gbogbo oyin ni agbaye does he have all the honey in jo ni gbogbo e when that one is done where is the person going to come to? Oh, you? Most of us are like that to God. We only come to God to receive. That is it. We don't even want to build any relationship. There are some people that when they come to church, this church, they have come to receive. Whether they have a thanksgiving to give. Or whether they have something to collect. Ask them what they give to God. Because I tell God, your relationship with God is not only about money. In fact, if you cannot give your strength to God, you are still not giving anything. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Can you look at somebody? Build your relationship with God. Ah, look at somebody. Build your relationship with God. Find somebody that is not saying anything. When it's and shake the bus. Come in. And say, build your relationship with somebody God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. The second thing that God wants to do for okay. us. As we move into the new year. Is a promise of abundance and prosperity. Amen. Amen. I love my wife. Don't get me wrong. I've tried all the men in this church and they have done wonderful. But this one, God bless you in the name of Jesus. And on behalf of you, God will bless all the women in Jesus' name. And then if the men can appreciate the women, God will bless them in the name of Jesus. We appreciate you, so God will bless us. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. The second one is found in that same Amos. Oh, KG. Oh, what? You know, I'm in Amos City. I want somebody to read verse 13 to 15. I want the person to read like a Nigerian. The, 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 uh -huh. the days are coming. That women cause, please. Uh huh. The days are coming. Yes. Declares the law. Uh huh. When the reaper will be overtaken by the, the reaper will be overtaken. By the plowman. By the plowman. And the planter by the one treading grapes. And the planter by the one treading. Uh huh. New wine will drip from the mountains. New wine will drip from the mountains. And flow from the hills. And will flow from the hills. I will bring my people Israel back from exile. Ah, uh huh. They will rebuild the ruined cities. They will rebuild the ruined city. And live in them. Yes. 
They will plant vineyards uh -huh. and drink their wine. And drink their wine. They will make gardens yes. and eat their fruit. I pray for someone here. In the, the name of Jesus, in the areas where you have planted and you have not seen the result, I say as you move into the new year, begin to harvest greatness in such place in the name of Jesus. Sit down. God bless you. That's enough. Yes. 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 Ole moba motu ba pada Ire bobo so sagalo yami Can you shout hallelujah Hallelujah Let us have a seat that's enough Eje ka joko Is it the second promise Ile lady KG entails abundance of blessing O to o o o kun fun ola ati oro to po God is saying to you, sofua, if you believe, to bag bag bo, that those that have, you know, sometimes you'll be planting, you'll be praying, you'll be doing all of this, and some people will be restricting you from getting results. But because God is God, God is saying today sofua, that you will run them over. Ikbe, oh, in the name of Jesus. Those things, there are some things that push people back. Some people that, you know, there are people in life that all they want to do is put restrictions, limitations in the way of others. If they don't change like right now, because of the power of God that is here, if you believe, you are going to run them over. And then you will reap the benefits of your plan. I did not say it. It is the word of God. God is saying to someone here today that you are about to start experiencing what I call the season of blessing. Whereby you plant little and you reap more. Whereby if anyone starts to say you cannot reap, they will be reaped by God. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Imagine this. God said the desolation it will turn desolation into abundance. But do you know that can only happen if you have number one? Oh, until you shall, until you can't let you wash him, you shall not you have to turn back to God. Oh, God, oh, God, I your relationship with And then your abundance will flow. I pray for somebody here today. Because God is God. Before the 14th of the God year, you will be celebrated in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let us open to the second Bible. Reading. If the word of today is for you, shout hallelujah. The book of Revelation, chapter 21. You see, this chapter unveils something to us. We catch a glimpse of um, the plans of God. That, that is the plan that God has. Ah, I wish we can understand many things that God would speak to me. For the beloved, they are afraid that God 
would open your eyes so that you will be able to see those good things that God has in plan for you here on this great mountain maybe if you see that you begin to do something different in this second chapter, the ne, second Bible reading, ne, uh, God is planning to give us something new. Oh, I want somebody to read it. Uh, book of Revelation. Uh -huh. Then I saw. I saw uh, sit down. Uh, go ahead, Jerry. Then I saw yes. a new heaven, a new heaven, and a new earth, and a new heart. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Yes. And there was no longer any sea. Uh -huh. I saw the new holy city, yes. the new Jerusalem, yes. coming down from out of heaven, yes. from God, yes. prepared as a bride, yes. beautifully dressed yes. for her husband. Uh -huh. And I heard a loud voice yes. from the throne saying, uh -huh. look, God's dwelling place is now among the people. God's dwelling place is now among the people. And he will dwell with them. Yes. They will be his people, uh -huh. and God himself will be with them uh -huh. and be their God. And he will be their God. Uh -huh. That's four. Four. Yes. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. If God is going to wipe away every tear from their eyes, shout hallelujah. 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 Uh -huh. There will be no more death. There will be no more death. Or uh -huh. mourning. Or mourning. Or, mourning. or abi, crying. Abi or uh -huh. abi abi pain. Pain. Yes. For the all of things has passed away. Yes. He who was seated on the throne said, Yes. I am making everything new. Uh -huh. Then he said, Yes. Write this down. Uh -huh. For these words are tr trustworthy and true. Amen. This word. Can you sit down? Can you look at someone and say, Write it down? So, when you come, I don't even know why people are not answering each other. I don't worry about reading it. Amen. Don't worry. Uh, if you want to read it, just read it so that you can see some new translations there. Uh, amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Tell somebody to write it down. Look at another person and say, God is going to do something new. So, when you go, show to find somebody and say, You will be amazed. So, when you go, and you know, you see what God wants to do. Oh, tell on of a shame is beyond me. Oh, call Jamie. He said, He's making everything new. Oh, so we will so go go do it. He said, The old things will pass away. Well, what if you're your call Jalo? The funniest thing is, if to say I was the one that chose today. Minimum fear or long, you see, because I want to say something good to the people. I said, I need to go to your first on Tafel Bond. But we know how this was a choice. She went to Mobosian Shell and he said, He has been chosen from the beginning of the even before the year. If we want, I won't be a semi belly out to call one silly last year. What are you saying to you here? A lot of so for loaning if you believe. To back back door, if only you believe. To back door, that is going to make everything deal for you. If we want so go go door to four, which means. So to my the whole thing that you are still sharing will become obsolete. Oh my word, that that car that you are calling my baby, my baby, my baby, will become obsolete. Oh my word, that house that you're saying is the best house now will become obsolete. Oh my word, you will become obsolete. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us have a seat. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. God said, I will wipe away every tear. Do you know some, some of us are still crying? Even inwardly. 
because there are some things that is needed that is yet to be fulfilled and we are saying God when it is not until you start to shed tears if you are feeling pain concerning this if there's something bothering your mind if there's something that you are yet to receive God is saying to you today I will wipe your tears away I will put an end to pain I will put an end to sickness I will put an end to death but do you know this still depends on number one it depends on you building your relationship with God. so which is you can say amen from now if you don't have a right standing with God the shepherd is just speaking and you are just chanting that will not be our case in the name of Jesus Jesus. if you look at the hymn that we did sing I think it's that hymn number 5 that hymn said angels from heaven above they have descended from heaven above to give us a blessing in this holy form. Are you ready to receive your blessing? Are you willing to receive your blessing? Or do you like the position that you're in right now? If you want God to change your status, or somebody to somebody, you have to make your relationship with God. May God help us in the name of God. And you see, when we are talking about this new Jerusalem, this is something we are going to enjoy on earth. But the heaven is the most important thing. Do you think you can make heaven? Verse 5 said, God is make everything new. Where do you think you are going to spend eternity? Just look within yourself. The things that you have done to mankind on this earth, that is just it, not to God. The things that you have done to mankind, how you have stopped others from moving forward, how you have been able to help others, how people have become your friend and you have turned them to some nonsense. How you just hate people to the level that every time that you have a chance to speak anything to their life, you don't speak something good. Now, do you think you are going to receive from God? If you receive, you are receiving from the enemy. It is not from Jesus Christ. But if truly you want to receive, and you truly want to make effort. In these few hours remaining for you to go to the Lord, mend your relationship with God. Because you have a committed God. He is always ready. He does not take vacation. He does not go to sleep. He does not go anywhere. You are the one running around. You are the one going from pillar to post. You are the one calling prophets everywhere. You are the one calling shepherds everywhere. You are the one wasting your money everywhere. If you can just mend your relationship to He is saying to you today, it will wipe away your tears. It will take away your pain. It will take away sickness. It will take away suspended death. And it's going to make everything new for you. How wonderful is that? But those 
sickness that you have to go away. For those things bothering you to go away. For that child that has not changed to begin to change. For that husband that has not changed you to begin to love you. For that wife that has been misbehaving to begin to behave you. For that church that you are attending for great things to begin to occur in your life. It is all by you mending your relationship I laugh at some people. They will come to church Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. I thought that you were trying to sing. I was waiting for that. 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 Amen. Amen. They will be praying. They will be fasting. Revivals here and there. Every revival on Facebook. Every revival on YouTube. They are there They will not do anything else. And they are waiting for their miracle. Let me tell you what's the best mentor I have in my life told me. That is my grandmother. But mama, mama. She says such person will be so blessed spiritually that the big gate of this world will not have anything, will not be able to touch them. He said what is the physical? If they are not careful, they can be a papa. What I'm saying to you is this. Mend your relationship with God. You need to. Don't just come to church alone. You need to. Find yourself a career that you love. Get busy. Get your career. Do something special. Don't just stay like my. I have my mom. My mom is a prayerful mom. If your mom needs God, she will go to God and forget about you. That is the reason why you have to come. To you have to to go to God. Say you have to a praying shepherd. Yes, God has given me the grace to pray. But I tell you sometimes, I will go to God on my behalf. And your name will be the last thing that comes to my mind. Amen. Amen. You think I'm lying? That prophet that you have, that you send monthly, monthly, monthly allowance to, and you think every day they are praying for you. I bet you if you can have somebody follow that prophet, you see that even on Tuesday when you think it's on the, on the mountain, he's eating equal be with your money. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. May God be with us in the name Call of God. Call on Let us not reject God. I want to advise us. Rebuild your broken world. That broken world. That, you know, sometimes God will build something and we will be the one to put it aside. That will never be a case in the name of Jesus. Begin to plant the seed of righteousness. Begin to plant the seed of what? Righteousness. Begin to share good news. You know, some people are carrying bad news. There's nothing that you tell them. I have them as friends. There's no project that you tell them about. That they don't have something that has occurred to somebody that was trying to do that project. Tell them I want to build a home in Nigeria. Said, ah, they will kill you. That's how they kill somebody. Else. They build the house. And when it was done building the house, they went to Nigeria. And it was there. 
they will never tell you your case is different. Be the carrier of goodness. And you shake somebody before I decide you. Me oh, I wish I can shake somebody. Oh, that big pecking me. Shake somebody yon. beside you. Me uh -huh. and tell the person carry good news. Look at another person. Just face the person. You see? Carry good news. Look at another person. Especially that person that has been playing with the drums. And they carry good news. We might be playing. But it is the truth. And I want you to hold fast to the assurance that you have God. God said, I would plant Israel. And nobody will be able to approach it. It is only God that can do that. You can do everything, but to be certain is God. Is there anybody here that is sure tomorrow morning by 7 o'clock they are going to wake up? I go make or to tell me that tonight at exactly 10 59 seconds, that's when I'll go to sleep. Nobody can tell when they go to sleep. Nobody can tell the exact time that God will wake them. And God can say no to those times. God said, I will plant Israel. And nobody will be able to approach it. I speak to everyone. Especially the ones that believe. Every good thing that you plant this year. Every good thing that you're supposed to receive this year. And everything that you will receive in the new year. No power will be able to approach it. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I want to tell you this. Renew your commitment as part of that heavenly body. Begin to show the qualities. Show qualities. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Begin to show the qualities of those that will inherit the promise of God. Reject the ways of the unbelievers. Can you look at somebody? Reject the ways of unbelievers. You see, this is one of the things that we need. Do you know the ways of unbelievers? When you go to the book of Galatians chapter 5. To read from verse, I think, 23, all, all of that. You, you will find those, those fruits of the unbelievers. Something that must not be found in you. If any of it is in you, or you are on your own. You on your own. May God be with us in the name of Jesus. Let us be reminded that our destination is not here on earth. There's a place that we are going to go to. Let us open to that aim that we get aim number five, that's six to one. Let us read verse four. In fact, let us read three, four, and five. Aim six to one, and I'll bring this to an end. Six to one. Tell me. How plentitious our joy may be. Ah, I said three. Oh, three, no, three. Four. Those five. stricken in poverty. Those that are stricken in poverty. Sing ye songs and boast for joy. If you feel that things are not going well, God is saying today, just boast for joy. Just let people ask you, are you okay because of the way you're dancing? Let people say, Shepard, are you okay? Why, why you, oh, are you dancing anyhow? Uh -huh. For the Lord shall surely come. Uh -huh. 
he shall set you free. When you release yourself to God, and, and you begin to jubilate, and you begin to dance, and you throw that sorrow away, it is written in that verse. That then God, the Lord, shall come, and He will set you free. You sit down today. So, is there something, anything that is too hard for God? Something that you think God cannot do. Uh -huh. verse, verse I'll plenty shares of your joy. Verse four. 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 In the last heavenly kingdom. So it should not be just about that. We should think of heaven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Only if we get prepared. I want you to underline that. Not in the hymn of the church. Or your own hymn. If you have a hymn. You underline that. Only if I am prepared. Uh, prepared to what? To do the work of the Lord. Only if you are prepared to do the work of the Lord. I have one question. In this church, if you are doing the work of the devil, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I am going to take fifty dollars from you that you made a mistake just now. <laughs> Once this church is done today, yes, I Sister Victoria Ofuani, fifty dollars. I didn't mention her name for purpose. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you prepared to do the work of the Lord? Again, I'm going to ask the question. If you are doing the work of the devil, let me see your hands up. Oh, yeah, no, what's okay? So there's nobody. If you are doing the work of the Lord, let me see your hands up. Yeah, no, what's okay? Our hands is up. No, 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 Awo mo wa la ye gu mo ni wa la ti fi ise won ho ni wa ju olu balawa ni gba ti fere yo dun emi o wa when that trumpet will sound gba ti fere yo dun they are not going to say because you are 14 years old won ni so pe omo kekere ni mi eh don't come to heaven i pe ma wa sorun don't come for judgment Ma wa fu da jo. You not say because you are one year old. Won ni so pe to ko ojo mo du kan. Especially many of us that are old. Papa wa ta ti dagba. We are we are more than teenager. Ta ti dagba ju awon odo la ngba lo. And then we want to say eh uh, uh, they, they, they've been saying that the world will come to an end. Won ti so ti pe pe aye o pare. Even before they give back to my mom. Ko to di pe won bi mama mi. And the world has not come to an end. Aye o wo si ti pare di sin. I will enjoy this at first. Ma ko ko gbadun aye yi na. Before I go to heaven. Ki n to lo sorun. If God meets you. Ti Olorun ba ba o pade. What you are enjoying the art. Nipa to si gbadun aye. And you are not doing the work of the Lord. Oh si sise fun Oluwa. The question is. Ibere ni. Are you going to find yourself in heaven? In jail, we will call my brother. Any or you are going to be like a roasted plantain. I be a mad, I be bolly tired. On that heavenly fire. Nino, you know, I lay ruin. May God be with us in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody. When you collect bare, tell him. Soften. Tell her. Soften. Be prepared. Wait, more as you Do the work of the Lord. She is chef for Lua. Look at another person. So well, look, mirror. You are smiling. Oh, really? Better be prepared. Oh, yeah, Mora. Do the work of the Lord. She she follow her. Find somebody else. So well, lo mira. It seems you don't understand. Oh, that big peko yo. Be prepared. Mora. Do the work of the Lord. She she follow her. Why am I saying this? Can somebody read the Bible? Can they do it? Uh huh. Ah, it's bad. Eh yo, she she follow her. Eh she do the workers of the Lord. Mora la ti she she na. Be prepared to do the work. Ni tori e re yin po. For your reward sit down. What the car? For your rewards are many. In heaven above, God will bless you, man. Amen. God will bless all of us. Amen.
May the most thing, the blessing of this heart is the only thing. I want to call you, baby. Give me more. Give for me to give birth. Can you and get married? Can you and get married? Can you build a house. These are the things we think are the blessings. I want to call you, baby. Why don't you think of a place? Oh, Shero. Where you don't have to walk. Nebi to oti ni le shi she. You don't have to toil. Oh, ni she wala. There's no animosity. Kosi pe wo. No hatred. Kosi kori ra. Nobody's bigger than you. Kosi ni to gaju wala. You are not bigger than anything. Oh, gaju ni ke ni la. Everything you want. Oh, to fe ni. Is available. Bobo to fe o wan. There's no wants. Kosi pe o wan kaka. There's no need. Kosi o o to ni lo kaka. No anxiety. Kosi ikoruru o kaka. No cry. No sorrow. No sadness. All that you have is joy. There's a song. Oni maturi adun oro bi aje mi la ye mi o maturi oro aye ba para disi lo wo mi o oloru. I'm telling some people because of the good things of this heart. I want koni tori o ure to wa ni aje ji. We have lost everything. What is so? Ipo wa loru. That will not be you. Koni je ipo re o. That will not be me. Koni je iwo ko si ni je me. God has planted you in the celestial church. Oloru to ti gbe o si no just celestial. We give you the wisdom. You of one you are. We give you the knowledge. We of one you are. We give you the understanding. You of one you are. To walk in His will. Lati ni ni no re. To do His will. Lati she fair. And to perfect His will on earth. Ati lati she a she kwe share le la ye iloru ko Jesus. To bring this to a close, somebody we have a memory verse. I want you to read this all through today. Jeremiah twenty nine. Akoso ri wa futo ni ni Jeremiah ori koko di logo. Twenty nine. We are going to read this. Do you know how to open the Bible? <laughs> Jeremiah 29. 11 and 12. We are going to read it together. We are going to read it together. The person interpreting can read as in Yoruba. Yes, sir. Jeremiah 29, 11 to 12. Are we there? Some people are not there. Yes, sir. If, if, you, are, if you are not there yet, it better be quick. We will not wait. Jeremiah is actually after the book of Revelation, which is before Genesis. Jeremiah 29, 11. Jeremiah 29, 11. Are we there now? Yes, sir. Let us read together. For I know the plans I have for you, the plans of God, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then, you will call upon me and pray to me and I will listen to you. Amen. Amen. I pray for someone here just because you are here and because of the grace of today and because of the power of God you are in it here because of the influence of God against us and because God has never failed as you move into 2024 may God go with you May he be your God. And you his people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you for listening. God bless Amen. us all. Amen in Jesus' name.